Yo, yo, what's up, guys? This is me, Noob Sauce, signing back in into YouTube. You know, some of this, some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I'm having a great day today. It is Saturday on the weekend, and I'm posting up Call of Duty Coach number free, 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 free. And it's on Das Arcadon, or other known as Arcaden, or Arcaden, however you want to pronounce it. Or A R K A D E N. You can pronounce it like that, or maybe Ark Eden. <laughs> but uh, this map is fantastic. It reminds me of Terminal. Reminds a lot of people actually from Terminal of Ter of Terminal from the last Call of Duty, but well, two Call of Duties ago, like uh, M W two. So let's jump right into it. I don't want to waste any more time. I love Arcaden, so let's do this after I show off the map a little bit more. <laughs> this is Da Sakadin. <laughs> so right here is the SAS spawn, which is probably my favorite spawn because it's closest to both flags. So it's close to the B flag, which is down over there. And it's also close to the A flag domination, which is over there. Now if you guys don't know, this series is based off of domination, kill confirmed, and team deathmatch. Any other game type, I'm not familiar with the spawns. This is the Spetsnaz spawns. It's the, this brrr, this uh, spawn is closest to the C flag only. But I'll tell you why they balanced it with the B and C with the flags. How they balanced it with this spawn. So this is the C flag domination. Over down here, we're gonna travel a little bit long ways to the B flag domination. And then we're gonna travel a longer way to the A flag domination, which is up those stairs, which I call Stairway to Heaven. So uh, when I'm on the SAS team, I open up the route, route route with capturing the A flag. I capture it. I sit down a little bit. I move up. I throw always. I throw a portable radar right down there. And then I look down here and I sound horde for the enemy. If I hear them, I'm gonna throw semtex right in there. And if I get somebody, all right, I'm, that means my mission's accomplished. I can move over here, and there should be some people over there. If I'm not, then there's gonna go back and kill people. And there can also be coming up those treadmills or whatever they're called. Now this is my opening route when I'm on the Spetsnaz team. I always go capture that C flag for that extra point because I'm running big kill streaks. Um, when I do that, I most people run from the right and left. I run up the middle. I always throw that portable radar on that red chair. I run up up the middle, throw a Semtex, because they're going to probably be still capturing A, and I can shoot in this head glitch, but I have to remember all the area behind me, but most people don't like to look there. So the people that like to go there, there, I can kill people from all over the place. So when you're defending the A domination flag, you're going to want to sit right behind this crate right there that I'm circling. Um, it's going to defend the coffee shop. It's over there, and you can just defend it easily. and. Over here is where you're gonna place your portable radar. You can just place it right there. It's kind of hidden, so you can't see any. You can't see it. Uh, over here is the pool of destiny. I call it because it's the gayest pool I've ever seen. Um, you can shoot from each side because pretty much of that pool you get killed all the time. Now that's beside the crate. But what you can do is actually this big concrete slab right here is a head glitch, and uh, you can go right in there and you can head glitch there and you have lines of sight. Anybody coming through A, you got them killed. It's a power position because they have to run to your lines of sight. So some Texas, throw whatever you want, you know. Let's have a good time down in this concrete slab. Now over here is a good place to protect the C domination flag if they're coming down through that uh, little place right there. I don't know what that's exactly called at the building. Um, you want to throw your portable radar down there because what it's going to do, it's going to cover all the entrances to the C flag that are behind you. Because you have, it's a power position. This is too because they have to walk in through your lines of sight to get to the C domination flag. You can also come here, but you have to remember the left of you. And um, so, yeah, what the thing I need you guys to notice is what what side your gun's on. It's on the right side. So whatever you're gonna do, if there's a covered thing like this, left and right, look how much more your body's exposed that your gun's in the right hand. It's more exposed than you, than if you were on the left side. Because if you're on the left side, only your gun is showing. If you're on the right, your whole left side of your body is showing. So when you're in this spot, I see a lot of people coming into these doorways because uh, they like the head glitch and lay down. But I don't know why. 
why they would do such a thing like that. Because honestly, I don't think there's really no point of it. They also come down here and they like to go down to this little couch right here. Because uh, they like the couch, I guess, for lazy boys. But what I like to do, this is what I like to do. You're going to throw your portable radar right down in that corner. And I just throw it a couple down. Just blah, blah, throw it a couple times just to show you that it should be there. Because it's covering all the entrances. It's covering... And I'm going to be circling it right now. It's covering all that. All that. All over here. It's covering your back entrance right here. It's covering mostly everything. And uh, you come right here. And this is a head glitch. And what, pretty much the chairs are protecting you. So what you do is you crouch. You hear somebody go. Crouch you hear. Up. Kill. And then if, they, if you see people coming through there, the spawns flip. You can come right up here and you can crouch. And you can just kill people coming from here. This is another power position because they have to walk through your lines of sight. Now over here is a my favorite power position of all time. If you have to have the C domination and the B domination to use the spot though, just to ensure that the spawn will be on the other side. So pretty much you jump up here, and this whole pool, this the entire pool, will protect you in this head glitch. Oh, and this move, this place is fantastic. You can even kill people coming up the walkway, the stairs. Uh, you can go to the middle if you want to be a little bit more fancy, have some more responsibility. You can come up here. Or you can go to the right side if you want to have that better angle, take out the people, but you have to, the right sides obviously, you don't have as much, as good of an angle as I would say. So over here is the best spot if you're covering B to put portable radar. Look at this, watch. Boom. You can't see it. It's legitimately impossible to kill it. I've, uh, I never see people put it there. Like when I'm using sit rep, I don't see any portable radars used anymore. Cause usually, I don't know, portable radars lost its touch or something. I love the portable radar, and that's where I put it all the time. Nobody can see it, and it's covering the B domination. It's covering here. It's covering every single entrance to the B domination there. It's covering there. It's covering these two entrances from over here. It's also covering through the bush, uh, the bushwhacker spot. It's covering here. It's covering all over there too, this place right here, and it's gonna cover the glass. This spot covers every single entrance in the entire place to get to the bee abomination. So this is a picture of what it's covering, and you're seeing it spread out and covering every single entrance to the bee abomination. Pause the video, check it out. Always, always put your portable radar in that spot. Now this is a place to put your portable radar, portable radar to protect C, right in there. You can't see it. It's impossible to see. Nobody will shoot it down. It's impossible to see. It's covering that entrance, covering that entrance, and covering the other entrance from the side. And you can't see it. It's impossible to see it unless you come up to here and aim down your sights right there. Um, yeah. So this next place is, I'm sorry to say, but it's amazing for um, taking out the people if they're an underground fella and they like to go down over there and they like to, you know, come down underground, come down here. Knock down that piggy bank type thing, and you can just kill people from over here. Just kill horde. You can destroy that one too. You can destroy that one too, and just kill horde pretty much. Now, a way to cover will counter. Sorry, this move is you can throw semtex. It's going to create a little bit of a smoke screen, and you can come here, look at the map if you want, you know, see where the people are. You can come over here, and then you make a little, nice little jump, and then prone to come here. You can shoot some people if they're head, trying to head glitch. They won't know you're there. And then you can make an astonishing jump here, prone it. And if they're laying down prone, trying to be undercover, just kill them all. Boom. No way you can sit there. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just wasting all my ammo here. Um, there's, so this video is going to be a longer one, it's going to be set up into two parts, one posted today, well, two posted today, one posted in the morning, one posted in the noonish, I'd say. Um, so over here is the best place to cover A, with a portable radar, you just place it right down in that spot, and, oh, it covers th all the entrances, it covers all there, it covers stairway, it covers... Mall, the, the beauty shop, it covers the stairway to heaven, it covers all this place, and like Jesus itself is saying, oh my god, I love you. Now, it's kind of impossible to get the portable radar, if you guys are getting confused by this, it's impossible to get the portable radar unless you move back a little bit. And then, but, 
The way to counter that is you just throw it on that ledge right there. You can just throw it there, and you can just push it back as far as you can. And that's where I put it, as far as you can back. But you don't want to place it on top because it, it can be seen easily. You can shoot it down. You want to place it in the corner, right there. Now, the, it covers much more, but the only problem is it's impossible to get it back. So you have to make sure you get it in the first time. So, yeah, I'm just seeing here. You can't, you can't get it. It's impossible. So I'm just like, oh, this. And then I threw my Semtex. Semtex! Oh! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, God, I'm hilarious. Um, this is a great place to protect if they're coming through the stairway to hell. Um, oh, by the way, uh, the, to the stairway to the A-Domination, stairway to heaven, this is stairway to hell. That's, uh, that's, that's what me and my friends call it. That's a call-out for us, pretty much. Um, so, look, you can cover everywhere. Uh, the only problem is it's prone blocked on each side. Uh, the way to get up here, this is the fancy parkourish way to get up there. You can just jump up here. Ooh, parkour, 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 parkour. Free run, free run, parkour, parkour. Jump up, parkour, and lay down. <laughs> now, the less, the less parkourish way, the less cool way to get up, the less fancy way to get up, is you just simply jump up on here. Jump up from there, and you're on. It's faster, but the fastest way to get up on you, you just jump up the, on the barrel. <laughs> I usually use the parkour way if they're, if they just, if you kill any everybody on the team, pretty much. That's all the only use I, the only place that I use it. But over here, you cannot crouch on the right side. I do not know why, but you can crouch on the left side. You you can only crouch on the right side. Sorry, and you can uh, go prone into left side on the left side. As you can see, I'm just trying to get up. Doesn't work. At all. Uh, this is the class I'm using. I'm using the ACR 6.8 with the silencer with a kick proficiency. I'm using the MP9 with the silencer, the Semtex grenade, the concussion grenades, the Sleight of Van Pro, the Assassin Pro, the Marksman Pro, and the Assault Package. The reason I'm using the Sleight of Van is because ACR is kind of slow at reloading, not really. It can be substituted for recon or something if you like. But I, I like to get that fast reload. The reason I'm using Assassin is because when I'm in that big head glitch, I don't want any UAVs counting me out or EMPs or counting UAVs, or, and I don't want to be spotted by Marksman. Now, my last perk is Marksman because I like to see people on the herd. On the, uh, I like to see people pretty much with the Marksman. Sorry about this. I just screwed up, and I was like, oh, shit, there's my class. Um, I like to see people in the head glitch. I like to see their name because most people don't use Assassin Pro these days. I do not know why. Don't ask me why. I use it personally because I think it's probably the second best perk in the game. Best perk uh, by far is Marksman. But a uh, perk that's going up there is probably Recon and Sitrep. So, uh, ACR, if you don't know, is called the laser gun. It's just a laser when you put kick and silence on it. It's very powerful. One of the best guns in the game, if not the best. Now your assault kill chain has to be the attack helicopter. Um, when you get to seven kill streak, I'm running big kill streaks. If you don't like this, go back to support, man. Like if you can't get a seven kill streak in this way far in the game, go back to support. And if you're not good enough, just put it down to UAV, care package, all that stuff. And we're running Reaper in the AC-130. Now the reason being is because the attack helicopter, once you get it, it's gonna get you your Reaper no matter what. Um, and when you get the Reaper, it's gonna get you AC-130 easily. When you get the AC-130, just wreck face. So, this has been Das Arkaden, or Arcaden, or A-R-C-A-R-K-A-D-E-N, or Arcaden, or whatever you want to pronounce it. I don't even care anymore. This is Minute uh, Cod Coach number three. This is Noob Sauce. Sign out. If you like my video, subscribe for more. And if you like the video, like it up. And if you didn't like it and you want to strangle me with my own penis, like it up. See you guys later. This is me. Peace out, guys. See you later. Me. Sign it out. Kiki.